Hello and welcome. Here we have with us today Deacon Bailey. And Deacon Bailey has yes. a mighty healing testimony and we have him here today on our program yes. just for you Deacon Bailey to share with us what the Lord has done through your life. Um, I understand that you are called Lazarus yes. um, and I, I would like to know why. So can you just share with us um, that powerful testimony? Yes. So it was 6th of September last year. I was getting ready for work, sitting in my bed, you know, trying to get on my uniform, you know, because I do security work. And while doing so, all of a sudden, I had a sudden headache take me, you know, and in my lower neck back, I had a terrible pain, but the worst pain I was feeling most of all was the head, mm -hmm. the whole head was mm -hmm. in terrible pain, mm -hmm. you know, and next thing, you know, my wife was standing right beside me mm -hmm. while talking to me, and I fell to the ground. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. and within seconds I fell to the ground, my legs were dead. I could move, none at all. Right, so at this point, were you still conscious? I was still conscious. Yes, yes. Yes, because I was able to tell her, you know, that she asked me, you want me to get the ambulance? I said, no, I don't know, you know, whatever, but, but I'm on the pain, I don't know what to do. Yes, you know? yes. Mm -hmm. And she said, you want me to brace you up, get you up on the bed? I said, try now. And when she tried it, it was a dead hole, you know, she couldn't lift me. Oh, wow, you yes. You know what I mean? And then next thing, you know, she said, you know what, I'm going to call 911. Yes. I said, go ahead. So she called 911. Mm -hmm. So the guys came, you know, two heavy set dudes came, tried to move me. Mm -hmm. They could not move me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right? So that was to get a third party right. to come and move me. Right. And, you know, by the, the third party, you know, the hall rushed me off to the hospital. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, you know, um, the medication, you know, in the ambulance, they were giving me some medication. You know, I take the medication. I, I don't even know what, for what purpose. Right. You know, they were giving the medication for. Right. And my, my wife was there, so she, she was telling him, listen, he's going to have a heart attack, right? Mm -hmm. He's have a headache, right. a terrible headache. Mm -hmm. Right. So, they finally reversed the medication, gave me something else. They came from one hospital to the other, mm -hmm. you know, because apparently they said that the first hospital they came to, they didn't have the right equipment for the purpose, so they rushed me off to the other hospital. Mm -hmm. So while I was at the other hospital, you know, um, they, they run some testing on me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, the next thing I got, it seemed like they must have given me something to put me to sleep. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. and when I woke up, I found myself, I was in the ICU. Wow. You know, so while I'll be in the ICU now, you know, oh, I'm telling you, it's, a, it's, a, it's an experience. Right. It is, it is really an experience. So, so, so you went from the ambulance, mm -hmm. then you, you got to the hospital. Yes. Right? Yes. They gave you something, it put you to sleep, and then you just woke up in the, ICU. Woke up in the ICU. So, so what happened between that time? What were you told? Well, um, when I woke up in the ICU, I, I see two nurses around me. Okay. Right? I was, I was, I was really furiously upset. I'm saying, why am I here? You know, not realizing that, you know, it was something first that had happened to me. Yes. So, you know, they, um, they said to me, um, sir, you just got some treatment for the, the blood clot in your brain. Wow, a blood clot in your brain. Yes. Wow. Right, so, so they were showing me, on the computer, they were showing mm -hmm. me what happened, you know, how to get to tie that blood vessel, you know, mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. So that was, my, that was my first evening being there. You know, the second evening, you know, the doctors came, like about 12, mm -hmm. 13 of them came to me and they said, um, Mr. Bailey, do you know where you are? So I said, yes. I said, okay. Could you kind of tell us where you are? So, so at this point, they're asking you where you are, so they're trying to, yeah, to they're, see they're, if you were 
conscious, conscious and aware yes, of all. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, so I said, yeah, I know where I am. So they said, please tell us where you are. You know, so I said, well, I'm in the ICU. I said, oh, cool. So do you know what the ICU mean? I said, yes. They said, what ICU mean? I said, you mean, I see you, 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 <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, yes. and I see myself. So, you know, they were cracking up. Yes. So they, they went away, mm -hmm. and the following day they came back again, and they said, oh, no, sir, we have something, another method, we're going to work on you. I said, what? Because they it? want to make sure. Yes. Right. So they said, no, hold out your hand in front of you like you're holding a box of pizza, you know? So I did it. Right. All right. And they went away, they come back again another day, and they, with the same procedure, hold it down like you hold a bag of pizza. So I said, hold on. I said to them, hold on, doctor, hold on. It's not that I'm giving you any, any problem, right? but this is the second day you're coming to me saying that I must hold up my hand yes. in front of you like I'm holding a box of pizza. Mm -hmm. Now my question is, where's my box of pizza? <laughs> Good question. So throughout all of this this ordeal, yes. you know the, the the Lord, you know, gave you joy, yes. right? So yes. so did so what what happened though? Did did the I doctors mean, eventually tell you what happened? Yeah, they they they, they told me that is um, you know, like a, a blood vessel break. Mm -hmm. You know, they show me they show me where it break. Okay. You know, show me how much I use some thing like some some thing and tight, mm -hmm. you know, to prevent it from bursting yes. again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, you know, so, so, so by doing so, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I mean, they were on top of me. But yes. The beauty, why I can share this testimony now, mm -hmm. you know, the beauty about it, the folks in my church, you know, yes. there are some prayer warriors. Yes. You know, there were praying for me mm -hmm. and for, for, for that being said you know I'm giving God praise yes. to know if it hadn't been for his loving kindness and yes. his tender mercy I wouldn't be here today yes yes you yes, know yes. I, I, I cherish every moment you know when I look and look back and I said you know oh I have you know God bless me with three beautiful kids mm -hmm. you know and you no know, I'm the father I'm the husband man, yes. husband man for mm -hmm. the house yeah I said, no, this must be God. Yes, God, yes. God is telling me, we, I have something for you to yes. accomplish. I had before. I never have nothing like this before, mm -hmm. right? And when I was there, even the nurses and the doctors, I was questioning them, what really is aneurysm? Okay, so aneurysm is, is what you... Yes. Okay, the condition yes. called, okay. Yes. So, so, you know, so they said to me, it's not something that, you know, it's like it's a catchy thing, like in a, you know, like how people catch cold. Yeah, it's not contagious. Like, no, mm -hmm. it's nothing like that. You know, you can be carrying it for like decades and one day it just burst like a time bomb. Right, right. You know? mm -hmm. So really and truly, you are blessed to know you have your, your wife next door to you, you know, to get, get you to us that we can be of help to you. Yes. The, but above, above all that, mm -hmm. regardless of what they say, I know, I mean, I give God, God the glory yes. for the doctors. You understand me? But God, he is the supreme being. He's, yes. He's the, he's, the, he's the all of all. He's the one. It's through his mercy yes. why I'm here. Amen, amen, you know what amen, I mean? amen. Yeah. Not to say that the, the doctors them don't do their part, but, you know, yes, it's if it had been for God, mm -hmm. you know, because, I mean, the doctors out there, you know, they, they, they're not, they're not inspired, you know, yes. just like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's God bless them with the gift they have, Amen. but I still giving God the praise to know it's through him. Right. You know, right. And, and just by even, you know, talking to you before I understand that, um, you know, this was something that was revealed, you know, to, to, um, like leader, yes. leader, leadership in your church. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, while I was there, you know, a couple of my, my leaders from a church, they came, you know, spent some time with me, chatted me. And 
I said, you know, God is good. Yes. God is good. Yeah, God you is know? awesome. I mean, I just find that very amazing, um, you know, that, that, that God would reveal something like that yes, yes. Um, so that it, it could be interrupted. Sure. And, 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 and you probably would not have been here today had God not revealed I'm it. So. You, that, you know, God, I'm giving God the glory for that because, yes. you know, even when um, I was there um, for nearly three weeks, mm -hmm. you know, and for the nearly three weeks I was there for, you know what I mean? Yeah, there were times the nurses said to me, you know, you, you know, you can't you can't go to the bathroom alone by yourself. Wow. I said, say who? Mm -hmm. Listen, I didn't come here. I don't think God put me here, you know, to be a, a patient that is going to be here for permanent. Yes, right? yes. He came me here temporarily just to give me an, an idea of what you know the whole system is like my god you know so it, you're, you're so what you're saying is that that basically god was just taking you taking you through a journey yes. right and yes. there's, a, there's a purpose in in all of this but why why the name lazarus who gave you that name and why 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 that name well so like when i get discharged from the hospital and i went to look for my primary doctor you know to get a, a, a thorough checkup mm -hmm. and everything the moment i went to his office and i knocked the door and he you know, the boat of eyes make four. He said to me, Bailey, did you know you are the second Lazarus? Wow. And I said, doctor, why do you say that? He said, sir, I have three family members of the same aneurysm and they die behind each other. Oh, wow. You know, mm -hmm. so believe me, man, you, you're a Lazarus. Oh, wow. wow, wow. You know? I said, wow, mm -hmm. you know, th th that's to show you, you know, that is no respect of no one. Yes. You know, and for those unsafe out there that don't know God mm -hmm. as, a lo as, as their savior, mm -hmm. believe me, this, don't, this experience that I have, right, doesn't have to, you know, be a situation where you have to have that, that experience to really surrender to God. Yes, amen. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. You see, th there are many ways, you know, you can surrender your heart to God because he's the, he's the true living God, you know? Yeah, he's the God that people bound to bow to, mm -hmm. you know? He's, he's the savior, Yes. you know? And I cherish every moment because you know, even up until this day, I sit down here, I'm thinking to say, I know my heart is right with God. I know I'm a safe person, you know, yeah. But regardless, you understand me? Mm -hmm. God has given me a second chance yes. to show the world that he live even up until this moment. Amen. And the amazing thing is that he was in the healing business, in the healing um, business. years ago, yes. thousands of years ago, and mm -hmm. he still, he still, still heals, still heals heal, today. Even till today. He heals today. You know, Amen. I mean, when I, when I came out to the hospital and, you know, went home, you know, one of my next door neighbor, he met me and he said, Bridget, I saw when the ambulance came and they, they take you away, you know? So I want to ask you, what really happened? So when I explained to him and told him, he had a, he had a case of beer, light beer, in his hand, and yes. a pack of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. And he came over to me and he said to me, thank you very much. And I said, thank you very much for what? He said, man, you don't even know what you just did. What you just related to me about you being the ICU, big man, it, it, it moved me. Yes. You know, I take these beer was to drink and, you know, to, to do something. I, you know, I don't even want it. Wow. And he opened the beers. Yes. Dumped them in the gutter. Wow. And the pack of cigarettes, he dumped it in the gutter also. Wow. And came over and gave me a hug. I wow. said, big man, respect, man, respect. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I said, wow. 
So you are so so just through God healing you, it, that became you know testimony yes. for the salvation of oh, other God, people. Man, I'm telling you, God is good, mm -hmm. man. I, you know, I prove God. You know, He's a miraculous God. Yes. Because, you know, people people, you know, have doubts because they refuse to have a fellowship, go to a church and have fellowship, yes. and, and, and live, live, try to live holy, mm -hmm. you know, that, that God present can be in their life, and for that reason, oh man. Yes, amen. Amen, amen. Yeah. So Deacon Bailey, um, this is a mighty um, testimony of healing. Yes. Um, I am very happy for you, and um, we, you know, give God all the glory, the honor, yes. and the praise. Yes. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Deacon Bailey and just sharing his testimony of divine healing from brain aneurysm. Um, he shared with us that God revealed this even before it happened, revealed it to leadership in his church. And he was prayed for even before everything occurred. And it was prayed for, for you know, everything to be, all the negatives to be reversed. Yes. So, um, you know, it, the power of prayer is so great. Um, not only leadership, but members, you know, of his church, they went down in prayer and they prayed for him even yes. after um, the incident happened. And second Lazarus, you know, Lazarus you are you are here to, to live and your testimony, um, you know, has, has, has saved others and, and, yes. and, and will live on. So, yeah, I mean, you know, even at my job, you know, I share it day and night. You know, I try to tell youngsters to listen. They are the source to survive. You don't have to smoke. You don't have to drink. Yes. You know, seek God before it's too late. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And with that said, thank you so much for being on the program yes, today, Deacon. Yes, yes, yes. And may yes. God continue to bless yes. you.